moan and talk about how tired they were. They were getting up from a chair or coming home from work. Yeah. Now I understand a little bit about that. But if, if this is what tired looks like, then I, I want to be a part of that. Yeah. I can only hope to share in that part of the gene pool when I get their age. Continuing in praise and worship, Jesus loves to hear the sound of praise. He loves when we worship. Yes, he does. And tithes, tithes and offering is no different. It's a part of praise and worship. Praise and worship is like a spiritual workout. Some of us may look at this part of the workout as like doing leg day. Most of us don't like doing leg day. <laughs> but it's necessary. And I can assure you that the return on investment is success. Father God, we come to you right now. Thanking you for the things that you've done for us in our lives, both spiritually, mentally, physically, and financially. We ask, Father God, that you would bless these gifts that are about to be given and multiply them for your kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
God who can turn things around. Feed us this morning. We need you to feed us. For we are hungry on this road. Bless us, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. shutting John up in prison. Right. Now, you might not have noticed that John was the one who baptized Jesus. But the story of John being arrested is placed before John baptizes Jesus in this story. Amen. So, so John is arrested, but has not yet been arrested. In the chronological order, the time order right. of the text. Right. Amen. Amen. So John, Luke is trying to tell us something here right. about John being locked up when Jesus is baptized. Oh my God. Amen. Oh, right. John is the last representative of the law of Moses right. and the prophets. Oh and John is locked up before Jesus is reported as being baptized. Right. We need to get that. Yeah. The law is locked up before grace comes, becomes public yeah. on the scene. Yeah. Some of us are still fooling around with John the Baptist. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Some of us are still locked up with the law. Yeah. Right. You're still identifying your salvation with what you do. Uh, rather than who you are in Christ. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So somebody in here is trying to prove themselves. Yeah. God is not impressed. Right. Amen. Yeah. With what we think we are doing at a conscious level right. to prove our salvation. Right. The way to true holiness, the way to get free, is to realize that John is locked up. 
If you really want to be free one day at a time, you got to know who you are in the new baptism yes. of Jesus Christ. Yes. Gotcha. Amen. Yeah. I'm trying to lock John up in my life. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I, I was victim of religiosity. Uh, yeah. I, I tried too hard to be something I already was. All right. All right. All right. What are you trying to be something you already are for? When he died, he made you yeah. a Christian. Yeah. Oh yeah, I, I'm a child of God. Yeah. I don't have to work at it. Yeah. When you work at it, you're going to stumble and fall. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. When we lived in the townhouse, when our younger children were babies, we didn't put a barrier on the stairwell. They went up and down the stairs and never fell before they could walk. You have the capacity in you to go up and down life stairs by yourself with the Holy Ghost on the inside. But you're putting obstacles on the stairwell. The law can't get you anywhere. All it, all can, all the only thing can help us is grace. That's it. Oh yes. Thank you for grace. Jesus got in the water. Yeah. Like everybody else, he was yeah. not needing to repent for himself. Right. He was the only one who's ever lived completely free of sin. Right. But he got in the water for you and me. Yeah. Yeah. I remember when I was about 10, 11 years old. This big dude, I'm probably about 13 or whatever, big old dude, grabbed me by the neck and pushed me under the water, you know, bullying. <laughs> and uh, I'll never forget, I was struggling, trying to get out of that water before I would drown. I almost drowned. Amen. And finally he let me up. Well, I hate to tell you this. But you've got to get drowned in order to serve the Lord. He's got to baptize you. You can't do it to yourself. He's got to baptize you and drown an old self for a new self to emerge. Amen. So part of the process is a continuing series of baptisms. Oh, I wish that wasn't true. In order to get closer to Christ, you have to go through. You have to die to self. And he's going to assure that you are going to die several times throughout life. That is the truth. Oh, yeah. The survivor self, that outer defensive self, is rooted in, in activity. Yeah. You need the energy of the aggressive self, but but you can't re you really can't rely on your own capacity to do what God wants you to do. So He has to drown that old self, yeah. so He can raise up a new, more powerful self. Right. 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 He started drowning me early. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Not only. In that instance of a physical drowning, yeah. he put me through some stuff. Right, right. Amen. Y'all know my story. Right. No father. Right. Uh, Tupac said, no father, no money, no God. All I can do is follow the, the voice inside. Yeah. Well, it took me a while to learn to follow the voice inside. Right. Oh, yeah. It led to depression in college. Another baptism. Mm. Two years of de depression and anxiety. Mm. Not knowing whether I was going to ever come out of it. Right. But I'm here to tell you, I have not had a major mood swing in 50 years. Yeah. Yeah. All so I could be a more of a servant right. to the people of God. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Baptizing me. When I didn't want to be baptized, I had to look inside. I had to examine my soul. Yeah. 
visibly on the outside, I thought I was almost sinless. <laughs> I was so trapped in law that I was stuck. I was like a dry drunk. <laughs> Some people don't drink liquor anymore, but they just a dry, mean drunk. <laughs> Meaner than when they drank. Because the real transformation has to happen on the inside. You may not be drinking anymore. You might as well drink. <laughs> it's better than being a dry drunk. You don't want to be stuck and locked up with you. You need to go in the water with Jesus. Oh, yes. Let him kill yes. that old self yes. that's trying to preserve you. Yes. you. You don't have to preserve your own life. Right. I got to defend myself. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. They, they tried to do me in. I had to stand up for myself. Yes. Please do stand up for yourself, but don't get reactionary. Yeah. Right. Right. There's a difference. When God gets in you, yeah. You can, you can stand up for yourself without acting a fool. You don't give people the power to jerk your chain. I'm not going to give you the power to, to make me angry. That's giving you too much power. I'm good without your approval. I can, I can be more strategic in how I get your foot off my neck if I'm more cool about it. Oh, I wish I had a branch. If you try to kill the devil the wrong way, he's going to come back on you. Oh, yes. Let God baptize you. Let God baptize you. Over and over again. He's going to do it anyway. Oh, yes, he is. Ah, uh, you have children. Financial problems come on the horizon at some point along the way. Mm -hmm. and then it's one thing after another. Mm -hmm. As the children grow older, things happen to them that you have no control over. Another baptizing. Yeah. God's got to heal them and then you too. Yeah. Because you, you, you're, you're still tied up in killing somebody. Because they act to the fool. I wish I had a preacher. Y'all don't want me to be honest. I could have gone to jail. Yeah, yeah, real talk. Oh yeah, that's where I felt. I wanted to kill somebody, but God had to get hold of me. Oh yes, He did. Cause the same God that had to heal my children had to heal me. Oh yeah. Lord, I don't know what you're doing. Why, why are you letting this happen? But I know I need you to get through it. Yes. That's it. That's it. Glory to his name. Yes. He baptized Jesus down into the water. Yeah. And he came up praying. Mm. He's praying. Oh, wow. Jesus. Heaven is open. Wow. He's still interceding. Glory. Do I have a witness? Yeah. Jesus is interceding Damn. with his father for us at the right hand of the father. Wow. Yes. That's good news. Yes. He prayed and heaven opened up. Yes. Father, into your hands, I commend my spirit and heaven opened up. Yes. Glory to his name. He, he was symbolically being crucified in his baptism. Oh, yes, he, yes, he was. Yes. I'm so glad this morning that he allowed himself to go through the indignity of baptism Thank you, Jesus. for us. Thank you, Jesus. For us, is, <laughs> as we used to say in Mississippi. <laughs> oh, yes, he did. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. And, and the Holy Spirit descended upon him in the form of a dove. Yes. Now, you remember. Ah, uh, the dove in Genesis. Yes. 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 The dove that Noah sent out. Yes. Came back 
with, with a twig in his mouth as a symbol of peace on earth. The whole earth had been baptized. And then the dove came. I don't see any more doves except them talking about a sacrifice on the altar until this moment when the dove descended upon the Christ. Bringing peace on a baptized earth. In him, the, the whole earth is baptized. Yes. Glory to his name. Glory. And the Holy Ghost is on us. Yes. Not just on us, in us. Yes. Because of his baptism. Yes. So I, I don't need a codependent relationship with God. I don't need him to move every mountain. I just need him to give me the strength to climb. To climb. Yes. Empower me. To stop looking for somebody else to be God. Yes. yes. Wow. We got to get healed. And this is Black History Month. We got to get, get healed of slave mentality. Yes. Slave mentality says that the master, we transferred authority from our earthly father to another earthly father. The master is the Lord. Yes. I got news for you. There's only one Jesus. Yes. Get rid of that transference. Yes. And look to God on the inside. Yes. You can stand with kings and paupers and still be found free. Yes. You don't need to hold your head down anyway. Right. You are somebody. Yes. Because you're in Christ Jesus. Yes. All of us are equal. Yes. In the sight of God. Yes. Black, white, brown, red, yellow. Doesn't matter. Male or female. Yes. We are children of God. Oh, yes, we are. Yes, we are. Talk about free? I don't know about y'all, but I'm not locked up. Thank God. I, I, I can't, I can't. It wears you out to try to put on an act. It takes more energy to put on an act than it does to be. It's about being, not doing. You shall be my witness. He didn't say do witnessing. When the witnessing team goes out once a week, right. he said, be my witness. Yes. In order to be his witness, yes. you, have to, you have to spill your guts to people. Yes. Right. Tell them what he brought you through. Yes. You, you're an eyewitness yes. to what he's done in your life. Yes. That's, what, that's what it's about. You can do that every day. Yes. On your job, you are a witness. <laughs> Good word. Good word. Glory. Glory. I thank God for his baptism. Yes. It makes me a different man yeah. than I would have been. Yeah. Am I right about it? Yes. He's still baptizing me. Yes. Oh, yes, he is. I told you. All of you know I couldn't walk. Mm -hmm. Another baptism. Mm -hmm. The doctor confirmed that I'd already been sitting in my recliner praying. Throughout the whole day, I, I made them take the TV out of the room. Mm, yes, yeah. So I could just be with God. Mm. I knew that's what he wanted. Mm. Amen. Right. Amen. Went to the doctor that I was referred to. And then, first of all, he didn't use a title. Hey, I'm tired. <laughs> Maybe you know that. <laughs> and he said, I'm not going to give you these pain pills. Because your body's just going to develop tolerance. And, you, you know, it's just going to get worse and worse and worse. He said, you can get more out of sitting in your recliner talking to God than, than that can do anyway. I'm a man of faith. I know. Don't tell me God won't confirm what he's doing. He, he, and and my, my daughter preached right before it, it happened. Uh, little by little, sir. That was exactly what happened to me. Little by little, I got better. I just kept on praying. Yeah. Not just so I could get better huh. physically, but so I could get closer to Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. That's so true. The object of prayer is not just to get something, That's right. yeah. it's to be next to Him, yeah. it's to walk with Him, yeah. Yeah. it's to be in the company of the Master Himself. Yeah. I just want to be with you, Lord. Yeah. If you don't do anything for me today, yeah. just be with me. Yeah. I just want to be with him. Yes. Night and day. Yes. In my dreams. 
I want to be with Jesus. Oh, yes, I do. In his baptism, here's what you can do with your childhood stuff and your adult rejections and abuse and all that stuff. It makes you more like a rejected, abused Christ. How are you going to follow a, a crucified Jesus without some baptisms? That's the only meaning I can find in the stuff I've been through. It empowers me to be a wounded healer like he is. Even after his resurrection, he said to the fellows, this is me. The wounds. After his body is completely transformed, he still has the wounds. So he can feel yours. You wonder whether he was there or not? When stuff was happening to you, he was right there feeling it with you. Yes. He knew he was going to raise Lazarus up. Yeah, right. But he wept with the folk. Right. Anyway. He, he weeps with you. Yeah. He grieves with you. Yeah. He feels your loss with you. Yes. That's the kind of God we serve. Yes. He feels the meaninglessness of it all on the cross. Yeah. Why have you forsaken me, Father? Yes. That's the God I serve. Yes. He walks in our humanity, even though he's divine. Yeah. Doesn't get any better than that. Yeah. I am the way to the Father. Yeah. Oh, what an easier way yeah. than trying to walk in the law. Yeah. That's it. Amen. Amen. I'm so glad that Jesus was baptized. And then the father said to him, this is the part you really need to get. You are my beloved son. Wow. You can add in that daughter too. In whom I am well pleased. But it was after he had gone through a baptism that the father said that to him. It wasn't that he didn't love him before that. But he's pleased with you mm. when you come on the other side of your baptism. Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. Wow. I love you because you went through it for me. Jesus. I love you yes. Oh, yes. because you are one I can trust suffering Thank with. Yes. I love you yes. because you're not just stuck on yourself. You're willing to be redemptively suffering yes. for others. Yes, as a witness for me, I love you. Yes. Yes. Because you turn the other cheek. Yeah. Without losing your dignity. Yeah. Okay. Without being less than a man. Yeah. I love you. Yes. Yeah. How Christ came to set us, not just set a standard for us to walk according to. He doesn't want you to be Christ like he wants you to follow him and hang around him. Too many people trying to be Christ-like. That's again, that's a doing. You can't be Jesus. He wants you to hang out with him. And his presence makes you different. He's the only righteousness. Not my flesh. He is righteous. On a dark Friday afternoon, Jesus went through baptism. They placed him on the cross at the sixth hour on a hill called Gargotha. Have I got a witness? Jesus, the lily of the valley. Jesus, Mary's baby. Jesus, yes, the carpenter from Galilee. Jesus, the shepherd and bishop of souls. Jesus, the incarnate word of God, was placed on a cross for my sins and your sins. I'm glad that we're being baptized in his name. Oh yes, they placed him on that cross. He said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Oh yes. We didn't really know what we were doing, y'all, when we disobeyed our Christ. 
Yes, Lord. And, and then he said, Father, if in your hands I commend my spirit and bow his head, yes, he did. And died. Yes, they placed him in a bottle tomb all night Friday night. Oh, all day Saturday. All night Saturday night. Oh, but early.